Hey guys, so Abby here with another Sailor Moon themed tutorial for you guys. This is another one that I was meaning to make like forever ago when I just kind of forgot about it a little bit. So we're going to do today and that is making your very own disguise pen at home. Now unfortunately I haven't quite figured out how to make it work like a real disguise pen, but it does still work as an actual pen so you can use it like in real life, like in school or whatever. I think I wrote an exam last year with it, if that helps you at all. So. Keep watching and we're going to learn how to make it. Is this another one of your super gadgets? Yes, I guess you could say it's something like that. It's a very powerful transforming tool. It turns you into whatever you want. <laughs> whatever I want? Cool! How's it work? Alright, so... The thing is, is that I actually don't know where my disguise pen that I made is. I made it a couple years ago though and I think it's just been lost and wrecked and stuff and the things I have because it didn't really take good care of it but that doesn't mean that you won't take good care of yours so here's how to do it first I would start with one of these fat pens here I get mine from Michael's the craft store and it usually costs about I'd say like a dollar fifty if you don't get the ones that come in the fancy case so it's really it's really not much next we're going to do is we're going to need to take the pen apart and make sure you keep all the little pieces of the spring and the, the end that the pen part is, you know, in like a special place so you don't lose them. So keep them in like a separate bag or something. And then you need to take uh, sandpaper because you need to paint it, obviously. You don't want to look like this. And you need to sand everything down so the paint will actually stick to it. The outside covering, the paper stuff, is usually just the outside covering it. It's not exactly... Uh, paint it on so as you sand it it'll just come off and just stir it out so make sure you sand every piece individually so that the paint sticks to it after that you need to probably prime everything white because the body is usually white to begin with and these other pieces are you know silvery i wouldn't bother if you got a light one like this priming the top because it's white and it, it goes red anyway right because that's how the top of the sky pen looks so i wouldn't bother but the rest of it you need to prime white so it's all the same color you need to leave that to dry. Now the paints that I use are just cheap dollar store paints that are actually my sister's. It's these paints here. And uh, yeah, I really don't see a point in buying really fancy paints because I'm not really an artist, so I'm not gonna use them. But if you have nice paints, then definitely go for it. All right, so after you have it all primed, then you gotta go through and paint it. Now, I don't have pink paint because my sister doesn't have pink paint, but I mixed white and red and got a color very similar as you see here. I apologize for the shaky camera, but you know, we only have so many hands. Um, then you paint all the pieces individually, and then you leave to dry overnight. Probably overnight, I would say. Um, the disguise pen has a golden ring around it here, which it doesn't really have anywhere else in the bag, you believe. And the rest of it is pink, with the top being this, this red. So, I either... The first time I did it, I painted a yellow strip, and the second time I did it, when I did Katie's, because she won my giveaway, I uh, used a piece of foam, actually, and glued it around. I thought the foam looked nicer, but it's up to you, whichever you want to do. The trickiest part is that we need to have the petals coming from this part. It's more like a crown, but I call them petals, because that's just me. Um, the best thing that I found to use for that is some sort of flimsy cardboard. Um, you, one of the best things to use is, like, over-the-counter pills boxes you know like react incomes and like those shaky cardboard i have one of my from when i used to have bright red hair one of the boxes for that and see it's just like flimsy cardboard because it's easy to bend and easy to glue so just make sure you don't see like it focus okay when you put it on make sure you don't glue it on this part because this part if you want it to still function as a pen it's got to go in and out right so that has to attach to this I thought my back is it's really hard. Use whatever kind of glue you want to. I just use hot glue because I don't really trust myself with stronger glue. But it's definitely got to come from here and sort of go out so that this is not, so it's not in the way of this so that it can still go in. And then so this is all painted. 
this part's all painted, you have this done, you have this part made and painted, and it's drying. Paint this part red. I know the secret of my mouth is you always like to put sparkly nail polish over all the red because it's supposed to be a jewel, right? But really it's just this plastic thing. So these are some of the sparkly nail polishes that I have and I've used and I love them all, so I would definitely recommend using one of those. After it's all dry and you even have the petally part done, it's not glued on yet, but it's done. Take them all outside and spray them with some sort of like I don't know if it's right to call it shellac, but some kind of like cover spray. I still use that triple thick stuff that I used in my shoe tutorial. I still use that. And it's still great. I lost the lid, but I love it. So definitely use that. Uh, then that's going to dry. And you might want to do a couple coats. Make sure, I don't know if I specified this, but you haven't put the pen back together yet. You have to spray all the pieces separately. And then really once everything's dry, you just put it all back together and bam, you have your own functioning disguise pen just like Usagi's. Mind you, it doesn't really function the same way, I guess, but good enough, you know? You gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, so if you liked this tutorial and you want to see other Sailor Moon type things, make sure you follow me on Tumblr, xosailormars.tumblr.com, and I'm always posting silly things, and yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. See you later.